morning, loves. Oh my goodness, I have been cleaning most of the morning. Um, as you guys know that Tim will be moving in in the next month or so, and so I kind of wanted to get a head start on decluttering because obviously he's going to be bringing things um, over here, and so I want to make room for him and stuff. I'm gonna let him use all my totes to pack things up so we don't have to use boxes and stuff but yeah i'm getting excited just clearing out a lot of clutter because this whole closet was like covered from ceiling to floor and this one i kind of decluttered as well i still need to find a better place for the suitcases um, but I did get all of the blankets and sheets and comforters and stuff up there. I'm gonna get another shelf for right here. I don't know what happened to the one that used to be over there. I have no idea. But anyways, then the towels will go on that shelf. So yeah, that's done. Now I am trying to declutter downstairs a little bit, but the worst part is going to be the kids' rooms. I really, really need to go through their stuff and I realized that there's four of them so obviously there's they're gonna have a lot of stuff for just two, having two rooms but seriously like there's so much stuff in their rooms that they don't even play with so I'm gonna let them go through it with me but it's gonna be a challenge that's for sure anyways I have spent most of the morning decluttering and it's already almost time to go pick up Roman from school so I gotta make myself look presentable. All right guys, this is about as presentable as it's gonna get today. I decided that, it is super dark. Excuse all my trash, because I'm decluttering. I decided that I was going to use my tripod thing today, because I haven't used it in a good while. Um, hey. What I was trying to say was, oh. I find it funny when I go pick up Roman at his school because um, when the other kids were in there, when they were in preschool and kindergarten, I was younger than almost every single parent because I had Haley when I was 18. So I was obviously really young. I was a young mom. And so when I'm going to pick up Roman now I'm in my 30s and he's in pre preschool I'm about the same age or older than most of the moms which it's just so weird I don't know it's just weird now it's kind of like all these moms who are my age or younger oh it's hot and they're like in great shape and here I am trying to keep it all together, working out every single day, trying to stay in shape. People warned me about this, but I was always like, no way. I just always thought that my body was just gonna always stay in shape. I never had to worry about what I ate when I was younger. And basically my teens and my 20s, I was just always super duper duper skinny. Um, even after having kids, my body just went whoop right back. So now that I'm in my 30s, it's not really the same. It's actually really hard. And I'm having, finding myself having to work a lot harder and to watch what I eat and all that kind of stuff because I'm not saying that 
I'm not saying that I'm fat and I need, no, nothing like that. I'm just saying I have to work harder for the body that I want instead of just sitting around eating junk food all day like I used to. Welcome to the 30s, I guess. Good job, Kesley. Nope, don't need glasses. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys, we just left the eye doctor's appointment for this one ha! and this one. And they have perfect vision, they don't need glasses. Well, I need Your pupils are super dilated, though. No, it's fine. Open your eyes. Hi. Oh, my. Hold on, let's focus. There. Are they still? They're, yeah, they're still pretty dilated. So anyways, now we are at Walmart. We are eating dinner. Yes, we're having McDonald's. Don't judge me, but it's easy because I have so much I still have to do. <sighs> and they had to do their homework in the car. Uh -uh. Well, you finished uh -huh. yours before I even picked you up. Good job. What you finished yours in the car. Good job. Oh, I had, um, I had like the, I had, 18 problems on one paper, and I did a whole page of, um, uh, I don't know, what is it called? Hey, cursive. Cursive. And I have another half to do, and I have to complete it at least on Friday. So cool. I'm just gonna complete Mom, it tomorrow. Got that. I have two pages, two whole pages that I have to do. Now I finish them. Good job. Oh, uh, yeah. But then yeah, I have 18 questions. I can't have this thing flips where she can see herself when I'm vlogging her or she'll get distracted and be like. <laughs> <laughs> Every time. Uh, I, Mom, do what are you doing? I'm dabbing. Look how big this good fry is. Oh my god. Oh that was a big french fry. <laughs> <laughs> so. Hopefully they behave while we're in here. I did tell this one and this one they get a prize because they were good at the eye doctors. Yeah. So. You are good too. You can get us a toy. How cute you guys are in your glasses. That's <laughs> bad word. What's a bad word? <laughs> what did I just say? Cute. Cute. Cute is a bad word? Yes. Oh. It's, it's a very bad word. Yes. Yeah, I'm pretty at least. I'll have to bleep it out then. Katie, you're very pretty. <laughs> We've been in the toy aisle for about five minutes and I'm already over it. Mostly because of that one right there. Who just talks and talks and talks and talks and talks and talks and talks. Never shuts up ever. Mommy. All right, Belle, well, we're leaving, so. No, don't leave. Oh, no, ma Mom. all over your mouth goodness gracious <laughs> I don't think you're supposed to put the whole thing in your mouth <laughs> my goodness Kesley are you done with your homework good job now go put it in your binder in your backpack all right guys we are home from running around like crazy so I I am doing things slowly but surely, but I took down that really ugly, 
like palm tree thing and just put up a simple gray window. My mind just went blank. Whatever. Anyways, just to help that this kitchen look a little bit better, I am seriously going to clear out most of this stuff because Tim has everything and it's newer than most of my stuff. So I think we're just gonna use a lot of his stuff. But I went to Once Upon a Child and got Roman a bunch of school clothes because I thought maybe he had enough school clothes, but I was dead wrong. He definitely does not. So here's some of the things that I got him. All right, I got him a pair of jeans. <laughs> my shirt, my shirt, my shirt. You wanna put on your shirt real quick? Yeah. Which one, the dinosaur one? Yeah. I got him a cute pair of jeans. I like him to still wear these because they're just simple for him to pull down if you're still potty training. And then I got him a red pair. They are stretchy, easy to pull up and down. No, what are you dang doing? It. What are you doing? You and I got him this airplane <laughs> shirt. He really likes it. He wants to wear it right now. Ah, <laughs> just a yay, Let's take the tag off. Now yeah. you're awesome. Here, let's show them. Mom, mom. Oh, you look so cute. Mom, can I wear my like my? I also got him a pair of army pants that will fit him really good. They're stretchy. Sorry guys, you can't really see me very well. It's so weird. Then for his shirts, of course I got him that airplane one he had to wear. I got him this dinosaur one. To me, it looked a little bit like a Godzilla slash a dinosaur and he's obsessed with both. So I thought this was pretty cool. It looked like someone like drew it and designed it. It's so cool. He loves it. Uh, cool one with a pocket. This color right here is my favorite color on him. I think it just makes him look super cute. Then I got him this leafy shirt. These colors look good on him too. And he's got a lot of stuff to match this as well. Then I got him this cool kid shirt because he's a cool kid. This dinosaur shirt. It's a bunch of dinosaurs playing basketball. Typical Roman shirt. And then I grabbed Brayden this one because he said he really liked it, so. It says boom, boom, boom. With someone playing the drums. So yeah, that is what we picked up at Once Upon a Child. What's cool about Once Upon a Child is, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of it or not, but you can take your kids gently use clothes clothes and exchange them if you want to get store credit or they'll give you cash for them um, as long as they're like gently used or stains or anything like that they'll take shoes too and toys so that's what I did I basically just exchanged clothes and got those with store credit hey guys what's up I want to you know what <laughs> Underpants. Yeah, I'm the yellow. I'm the yellow boy. Dude, let's let's see the challenge. <laughs> the boy with the other hair. So no, no. Candy, little boy, little boy. Like the weed. I don't. I turn pants um, like me. You'll ah! with SMG. Kid, you're crazy. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. 
It does not look like I'm gonna be getting much sleep tonight. Mom, Baymax, my Baymax is Mad Pony, and one or two movies from Mad Pony. What is going on there? Mom, can I turn on? All right, guys, it's that time. If you liked it, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe down below. And we'll see you later.